Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today we will explain how to create an escape room step-by-step -step with OneNote. As for today's goals, you will comprehend the steps to create an escape room. You will learn how to encrypt passwords in OneNote and start a challenge to create an escape room with OneNote. Also, at the end of the session, I will give you the Microsoft promotion code to redeem in the Microsoft Educator Center and earn some points. Now, let's start with some definitions. An escape room is an entertainment experience in which a small group of people need to solve a series of puzzles and riddles to break out of a room within a limited amount of time. We compare this to an online escape room where we can play from anywhere, both individually or as a team. We only need the internet and whatever the activity requires. Today, we will explain how to create these escape rooms using OneNote, the Office 365 tool that serves as a personal notebook in the cloud, where we can insert any type of multimedia content to share with whoever we want. In addition, since it is saved in the cloud, as you do not need to save it yourself, it is saved automatically in OneDrive. Remember that we cannot set up an escape room with the online version of OneNote, but must create it with one of the two options mentioned below. OneNote 2016, or the OneNote app, which can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. To download it, you can also go directly to www.onenote.com download to get the desktop version of OneNote 2016. You can sign in with a Microsoft account or an Office 365 account. This would be the OneNote 2016 view. As you can see, Sections is on the colored bar at the top and Pages appears on the right. This is the OneNote app view, where in this case, both sections and pages appear on the left side. Basically, the structure is the same, except for where sections and pages are located. You can download the OneNote app from the Microsoft Store, and this version is our recommendation to create your escape rooms. With this version, we can change page color, something that the desktop version 2016 does not have. To do this, click on View, and then Page Color. We can use several tools to create escape rooms, such as Wix, Genially, Sway, RPG Maker, Forms, and Minecraft. We can use other tools as well to create escape rooms, but the above list includes tools that are 100% customizable from the onset. It even has a lot of content already created that we can consult but gives us total freedom to create. Here we have some examples of escape rooms made in OneNote. You can go to the site below, https bit.ly slash escape rooms en, and check out all the escape room challenges we've made with OneNote and other tools. Let's go on to how to put passwords in sections of OneNote. For this, we will use the OneNote app. As you see, we have the sessions on the left, and if we press the right button, we can choose the option Password Protection. Only sections of OneNote can be encrypted, not pages. This is very important, only sections. We will need to write down the password or be sure to remember it, as otherwise we won't be able to access the content in the section. Here are the steps to create an escape room in OneNote. The first thing is to choose a fascinating theme, a theme that motivates us and our students. And if we are the creators of the escape room, we should know the theme well. Then we have to design the challenges and the quizzes. Each section will have a challenge related to a specific curricular content. It could be math, social sciences, natural sciences, geography, history, etc. Next, we are going to define a sequence, that is, structure the story with a logical sequence with introduction, middle, and ending. Define the multimedia elements. We can add images, audio and video recordings, drawings, and figures. Passwords. We will encrypt the sections with an alphanumeric password, that is, numbers and or letters, and take into account that it is case sensitive. After all this, you need to review and calculate the time to solve the escape room and check the correlation to the content. Then, we create a sharing link in OneNote and send it to our students or to whoever we want to resolve it. And finally, let's play! 
collaborate with the team to reach a common goal, and above all, have fun. Those are the eight steps to create an escape room with OneNote. How do I post and share an escape room? So first, you have to get a display link in OneNote so that when users log in, they can only see the notebook but can't modify the contents. Since this link is usually very long, before sharing, we can shorten it with a tool called Bitly that can be found on the internet. You can register and then use it to shorten the links you have. How do we share in each of the versions of OneNote? In the OneNote app that we have downloaded from Windows, we click the Share button in the upper right-hand corner. We have to configure it so that anyone with the link can view. Just copy and share it with whoever we want. In OneNote 2016, we look for the notebook we want to share. Right-click on the notebook and click on Share This Notebook. Then select the option Get a Sharing Link. We make sure that it is a viewable link, and this is what we send to users to log into the escape room. From the EAD group, we launch the challenge of creating an escape room to be shared with the community. Creating an escape room is not an easy task. You have to think it through, and it can take hours to create. It depends on what you want to put in it, the multimedia content that is, and what the challenges will be like. Then you could share the escape room through social media with our students, take screenshots, and if you want to, mention at Grupo underscore a ed on Twitter and include the hashtag, hashtag escape room HP online teaching assistant. Finally, remember that those who have attended this training have the code to redeem points in the MEC. What is the Microsoft educational community? If you are a MIE teacher, this serves to earn you more points for your profile. And if you are not with this code, you automatically become an MIE teacher so redeem it in the MEC. And remember that you can log into the MEC with an Office 365 account or with a Microsoft account. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education.